All right, we got a 2013 Camaro. We've got the power seat adjust adjusting switches. Um, two of them don't work. So this seat will go forward, as you can see. I don't want to go too far forward because I, I need to be able to get a screw out right here. Will not go back. It will go down and up, the, the forward, and then the back will go up and down. And then the recline, it won't recline, but it will go forward. So basically what we're going to have to do, we're going to pop these off. Get a little tool to get in there to snap these off. There's, I think there's a couple screws. There's one in front, one in back, and then this plastic trim should be able to come off. Then we should be able to get to the switch and the connector. Now, I've already ordered a switch, and I'm going to show you why I've already done that. Uh, you, you, in, in, on some makes and models, you don't want to just automatically assume the switch is bad. But I'll show you why I'm going to assume this switch is bad. Other than the fact that it was working, and then it just those two functions pretty much quit at the same time. Here's the diagram. If you look at the diagram, oh, which by the way, depending on what option package you have, you either have a six-way switch or a two-way. If you've got the two um, levers there so, so that your seat can go forward and aft and recline and go up and down and all that, you've got a six-way switch, which if you look right here on the diagram, this says with six-way power seat. So we're going to come down and we're going to use this section of the diagram. If you only have a two-way, which just goes backwards and forwards, you would use this section of the diagram and you'd have a two-way switch. So make sure if, you, if you're going to replace your switch that you order the appropriate switch, whether it's a two-way or a six-way. Now, if you take a look at this, all you've got, you've got power coming down and going to the switches right here, then you've got a ground. Well, we can assume the ground's good because we've got movement in some of the um, directions. We can assume the power is making it because, again, some of the directions are working. That only leaves the switch. This particular make and model vehicle does not have any kind of CAN input to a computer and then the computer moves the, the seat. Some vehicles, whenever you move this, these switches, you're going to the computer, then the computer actually puts an output to the seat to make the seat move. If that's the case, you're going to want to hook a scan tool to it, want to see if you'll be able to move the seat with a scan tool. Um, if the seat does move in all directions with a scan tool, then uh, you can bet that all the motors are going to be good, but the, uh, the switch could still be bad. But if all if all the directions move using the scan tool, uh, you just verify that the computer is also good. In this case, there is no computer input on this uh, vehicle. Now, if you take a look at what happens here, whenever you go forward or aft, you're just switching polarities. You're switching ground and power to the motor. Well, since, since it's the same motor that makes the seat go forward and aft, all you're doing is switching the power and ground. That tells me the motor's got to be good, and the wiring is hooked up to that motor coming from the switch. Now, remember, it would go forward, would not go aft. That's using one motor, so we know that motor's good. And the recline, uh, which is actually this one right here, it will go forward, but won't go aft. And again, it's doing the same thing. It's just switching these powers. The only thing this can be is the switch. That's, that's the only option. If one of these wires were broke, you wouldn't have movement in either direction from that motor. Um, if the connector was disconnected... It's one single connector. So, again, if, if any one of these connections was broke, that motor would not, it, it wouldn't move in either direction. 
is what I'm trying to say. So just understand that 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 if you had if you had the forward and the aft of the seat, it wouldn't move forward or aft. There's a possibility the motor could be bad. The connector could be disconnected from the motor. The switch could be bad, you know. So you'd have some variables there. But in this case, all the motors are working at least in one direction. So that's obviously a good indication that the motor is good. And the wiring to the motor is good. Obviously, we got to have power. we got to have ground for all that to work. So the only option is the switch. The switch is just bad. So let's go over here, figure out what it's going to take to get this thing taken apart. Now, I have moved the seat as far up as I can. You can get this off without having the seat up, but since those motors was, were working, um, I figured why not you know, move the seat as far up as I can get it because it's just going to give me more room to work. Now, there's a screw right there. So we're going to take that out. I'm, now, this is the first time I've done this, so I don't know for sure what all it's going to take to get it out, but we're going to find out. Okay. And there's a screw. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but... Since the seat is moved kind of forward, I'm doing this by feel. Okay, so what I need to do is pop these off, I think. So if you see what's going on there, so you've got a you got a clip here, you got a clip here, clips in here, clips in here. That screw's loose. I'm gonna have to tighten that up. And then you've got this little L bracket it goes in the front right here. But now you can see there's the switch, and then there's the connector. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pop these loose. I'm going to snap off. Of course, you could probably just use a screwdriver for this. Just be careful not to scuff up, you know, your your uh, plastic. Now, where must tool go? You can see these little clips right here. Those obviously are going to have to be popped loose. I hope I don't. I'm trying to do this one-handed and hold the camera. Need a smaller screwdriver. Okay. 
I don't know if you can see that or not. How that works. Doing this one handed is kind of challenging. Okay. It's always a good idea to check your pins just to see if they're corroded or these are, this looks perfect now this switch does pop apart so you may be able to take yours off take it apart and clean it in fact after I get this put back together I might do that just to see if that's uh, some of these, once you pop them apart, you never get them back together again. Everything's working. So, there's that. Just in case you want to see how a power seat works, see your little, uh, uh, let's see which one is that. You got a little lead screw. You got your motor, drives it, and depending on how it's all pivoted, it makes everything work. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this screw up on here. Maybe. A little tighter, but it's pretty tight. Okay, I'm going to try to put this uh, light and the camera somewhere where I can kind of need to. move here it's kind of at night that's why it's so dark so this is just going to snap in now remember your little L piece here that goes in there so you kind of got to put it in like this first push it forward So that part's done. Now we just need to put our screws in. I'm going to go forward with it so I can get some room here. now all the way aft but keeping it as high up as I can get it
Okay. Again, there's that screw there. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully the angle's correct. Now as far as these, they don't look like they're Well, this one might be. So that one's working. The up and down's working both the front and the back and the fore and aft so everything's working again this is a six-way switch um, if you only have one lever here then you got a two-way so make sure that you uh, get the appropriate switch and also they are different from side to side so if it's passenger get passenger if it's driver get driver That's how easy that is. I'll put a link for a kneeling cushion too. You definitely want a cushion to kneel on. Alright. That's it. You guys take care. Actually, I told you guys we'd snap this thing apart to see what it is like. So we're going to do that. We're going to attempt to do it. It just looks like it snap apart right here. You're going to have to have at least a couple of little screwdrivers, it looks like. Okay, so all you got here Oh, that looks like it's working So these are just little, all these are just little micro switches Well, no, not really Okay, so these come apart too. So this was actually it was this one here that wasn't working. Let's just snap that apart. Hope nothing flies out at us. A lot of times that's what happens. You've got springs and stuff in a lot of these switches that come popping out. And at that point, you may as well just chuck it in the trash. Most of the time. Sometimes you can get them back together. Already broke that one little piece there. Not, not to mean that wouldn't work. Jeez, got to take even more apart. Now, I'd obviously be a little more careful if I was trying to uh, save this thing. 
So let's see what happens here. That so what you got is a little piece of plastic right here whenever this thing shuttles back and forth it's just taking these contacts to another to another position And it's kind of—it's too hard for me to see if those. I'm sure those contacts. The only thing that's probably wrong is the uh, contacts are probably carboned up. That'd be my guess. You might be able to get in there with a little piece of sandpaper or something, clean those contacts up, put this back together, snap this back on, and make it work. But you know what? I want to say this thing was only twenty or twenty-five dollars. I mean, if you suspect your switch is bad, just order a switch be done with it if you just absolutely don't want to put any money into it you can attempt to fix it but you're going to want to be real careful taking this stuff apart anyway that's it you guys take care